Hi everyone, welcome to another time lapse video. This video is part of the sketching Ho Chi Minh City series of tutorials that I have been creating over the last few days. So this is the time lapse version. If you want to watch the full tutorial, you can support me on my Patreon page or my Gumroad web page. The links are in the video description below. In this video, I will still be talking about some drawing tips and techniques. Now this sketch that I'm drawing is of Ben Tan Market in Ho Chi Minh City. It's a very popular wet market. And for this particular sketch, I've used ballpoint pen. That's the Uniball Signal Gel Stick because I left my fountain pen in the office. Now the Uniball Signal Gel Stick is a very nice ballpoint pen. They come in different colors and when the ink is dry, it's waterproof. Now in addition to the ballpoint, today I'm trying something different. I'm using color pencils to draw some of the lines because there are a lot of baskets of different colors in the market. I've decided to use color pencils to draw those baskets and later on I'll just overlay all this line art with watercolor. As usual, the way I start is by drawing the largest object in the scene. In this case, that's the seller, the person standing at the right side. After I fit the person on the page, I proceed on to draw the tables and then use the color pencils to draw all the baskets on the floor. So I just continue to draw and expand outwards. There are a few things to take note of when you are drawing on location, especially at a busy scene. So this is quite a busy scene. This is a wet market, so there are a lot of people walking around. There are a lot of stalls there. Usually for me, I would try to stand a bit further away from the stall. I do not want to stand too close because these people, they are doing their business. They want customers. If you are standing too close to the stall, you are actually preventing other customers from looking at the things that they are selling so it might affect their business and some store owners they are not particularly happy uh, when this happens so they may actually just um, chase you away if I'm drawing in front of a shop I would stand away from the display window if I can or I would just move away from the entrance basically just do not affect the, just try not to affect the business that are around. When drawing on location, I would usually spend around 5 to 10 minutes to observe the scene, to see the people moving around, or just to wait for people to settle down and not move. And when people stop moving, those are the people that I would draw first but sometimes it's unavoidable that people would just keep on moving there are actually some tips to drawing people quickly so my tip to drawing people quickly is to first of all observe and pay attention to the proportion pay attention to the posture start by noting the height of the person and then see where the feet ends. So you have the starting point, which is the height of the person, and you have the ending point, which is the feet of the person. If the person really moves a lot, I would use one line to draw the arm. I would use another line to draw the shape of the back, and then I would use another line to draw the leg. So three lines, I would be able to get the shape of the arm, the back, and the leg. After that, if the person moves away, I can basically just fill in the rest of the shape because I already have the general shape of the person. I have the height and I have the feet, so I would basically just try and fill in the blacks. I know this is a bit difficult to visualize by looking at this time lapse. The watercolor that I'm using is Daniel Smith and Mission Go watercolors. As I apply watercolor over the lines, the color pencil lines, I realized that the color is too powerful and it covered some of the lines. So later on, I'll be using color pencils to redraw the line or use the white gel pen to redraw the shape of the baskets. 
Another thing that I forgot to mention earlier is when drawing on location, I always try to see where the sun is and how it's going to move. So I would try to stand in the shade, in a shade where when the sun moves, maybe one hour later, I will still be in the shade. I mean, some people when they draw in the shade, but one hour later, the sun moves and they are now under the sun and it becomes very hot. So this is something that I take note of when drawing on location. And I'm suddenly reminded of this because the scene in front of me is actually in shade and I was actually standing in the sun to take this photo. So that's why I remember this tip. So for this particular sketch, I added primary colors first. I started with yellow, with yellow curve, then I painted the skin tones, then I move on to the stronger colors like blue and red. And then with all these primary colors, I move on to the secondary colors like the green, the gray tones. So now I'm adding the darker shades, the shadow tones to give this sketch a bit more contrast. So I'm almost finishing up here, just trying to add the really dark areas which are almost black in color. The last stage of my sketch is usually to add in additional textures. So I usually do that with the white gel pen. In this case, I also want to use the white gel pen to redraw some of the baskets. Now the white areas can be highlights. In this case, I'm using the white gel pen to add in additional dots on the ground because there are actually some white spots and fish scales on the ground. So that's why there are some white spots on the ground. And now I use the red ballpoint pen and some color pencils to add in some finishing touches. So that's all for this time-lapse tutorial. If you want to learn more about sketching, you can support me on Patreon and Gumroad to get access to the full tutorial. And if you have any questions, do feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.